kind of want to talk to you and have a kind of an investment meeting about the next steps of the farm and we kind of right now we with the farm we kind of at a crossroads um, we need to do something drastic in a way to grow the farm and to create more business and re, uh, income for the farm um, accidentally we have made a lot of purchases or financial decisions on the farm without really giving thought to it and didn't get return on our investments. Um, now that this, now that we have this car out of here, uh, one thing I think is major, looking at the option of getting this barn moved and utilizing this barn as a focal point on the farm to not only uh, track customers in, but to give us a staple for our business. And when I say a staple for our business, what I mean is uh, this can be a staging place for our produce uh, as a store, a venue on the property. Not only a venue, but also it can act as a way to clean our produce and do other things on the property. Um, right now we don't have that. So our what we can do is very limited on our the amount of space that we have. So we really got to, we kind of at, what I like to say, kind of at a crossroads. It's kind of like Morpheus is standing there telling us we can take the blue pill or the red pill. If we take the red pill, we're gonna really start taking this business a little bit more serious, as to say, and we're going to focus on uh, what we discussed and what our initial plans was, was uh, becoming sustainable and getting out of the rat race. Um, and it's kind of hard because in society, uh, we've been taught you go to college, you get a good job, you get married, you have a career, you work 40 plus years, you retire, and then you, know, you get to enjoy the rest of your life. But is that really what life should be like? Um, and I'm not, I used to subscribe to that belief system and I'm not there anymore. But I'm trying, I'm not, I don't have you out here per se to convince me that this is the right thing to do or this is the wrong thing to do. I'm out here looking at this building, trying to figure out for myself, is this the right thing or is it the wrong thing for us to do? Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, it It, it does. I just, I mean, I get it, because it's we, we've really got to be smart with our farm dollars. Yeah, so. And making sure that we're being very strategic, because before, we weren't very strategic. We weren't strategic at all, so. Um, we waste, I don't want to say we waste because it has been a learning experience and we've been enjoying ourselves, but we have invested a lot in this farm, but not really had the movement as it should be. If hindsight is 2020, I mean, if we looking back, the amount of money we have spent on various spots on the farm, if we would have took that money and we could have took that money and took moved this building um, to that location, build it out like I wanted, and already be doing the things that we discuss. Um, however, we didn't do that because you know, it's new to us, and, and it's nothing nothing good or nothing bad. No one not pointing fingers, but uh, going forward, we have to, like you said, we have to be strategic. So I want to discuss what is the plan. What is, what, what are our next steps? How how we're going to get there? Um, and what does it look like? So for me, I think the next step is for us for is, is to move this invest into, into infrastructure one and invest. The first investment should be this building. Um, what I would because like this building was everything that you have seen about this building because you want to keep it because it's historical. Yes. And so, everything about this building. So when was, when are you seeing the earliest that you think that this building was actually built? Well, looking at the historical area view uh, of our property, this building was here in 1937. Uh, but a friend pointed out here yesterday, that this building was built in 1917. And that, I believe it was built in 1917. Uh, so this building, if that's the case, this building is 105 years old. So Ryan, how, how, how do you prove that? How do we prove that? Because, well, you know, we, we already have the historical area of you saying this building was here in 1937. My thoughts in this building is to first, of course, get it moved. Second, 
we have to get it where it's structurally sound. Uh, I want to put in new, uh, new uh, seal plates, uh, get the siding fixed. We spray foam insulation, put a window in, um, and then also we want to uh, frame in and make a little smaller entrance um, so we don't have the big sliding doors. From there, um, of course, we have electrical, run electrical. We have. You did a measurement on this barn. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you did a measurement on this barn. How big is this barn? The barn itself is tw a little bit over 20 feet by 35 feet. So, but getting back to thought process and then we're going to to make sure this the, the materials are historical historically accurate um, is to use the other two existing buildings that we always say that we're going to demolish from day one um, so taking the corn crib which has a uh, really old shiplap in it and I want to after the spray foam insulation running that shiplap throughout the duration duration of the, the barn and then re the remainder of it would be something like a corrugated tin and then up top the exterior the exterior siding on the corn crib using that to finish up the roof on the inside by having these beams i can see these beams exposed and then having using these here as light fixtures having three uh either three to three to nine of these as light fixtures um hanging from the hanging from the, the rafters I think that would be pretty cool to see. Um, but like I said, with that, that's, it's gonna come a great investment. And at that point, we have to make sure, we, we need to know that the farm is gonna make money. Um, and I'm not gonna get too far in depth in it, but it's gonna be some major life decisions that we're gonna have to make here in the coming months on how we proceed with the farm. The question is, is it worth it? Um, and like I said, what I'm struggling with today is, um, do I take that red pill? You, you, watch, you watch other people and they tell you, hey, I cut the shackles, I'm living my best life. And I don't know how that looks for us, you know? I really don't. I don't know how that looks. What What did they do? I mean, would, like financially you, is no, what not, you're asking. Not, not financially, life wise, just life wise. Because we have to. You have to make sure that you have. Uh, you have to make sure one. Let's say you, you cut the shackles. What What's bringing in a passive income? What's now explain. You, like, cut the shackles. You're talking. Get away from corporate. Get corporate away, America. Get away from corporate America, and. Charting your own course. Investing in yourself. Yeah, investing in your own self. Mm -hmm. Taking, taking, taking life. Because I mean, you and I, you and I know we didn't have people, coworkers who, who did, did the forty year, retired, month, two months down the road. They die. They die. My brother, for example, he's forty two years old. And he's gone. Um, passed away last year. So, and I, I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm going to die tomorrow or die a year, but we don't know. But I want to make sure that I, I set a foundation. So if something does happen to me, that you and Devon could, could, live, could live a better life. Could, you, you don't have to depend on someone else providing you with an income. I get what you're, what you're saying. Um, last year... I will say was a it was a challenging year yeah it was very challenging because that was season two it was yes. our, our growth season two um and it we really had a lot of things moving here at the farm where you know you wanted to get, we needed to get the animal structures done but we also needed to uh build a like an income stream coming into the farm to help pay for the farm because that's ideally what this is all about and we ended up um i mean we were we're burning at you know both ends of the candle we were we were and it was it's almost impossible we participated in three farmers markets um, which were absolutely amazing yeah. um, we started to build um, some traffic here to the farm so we had um, on-site customers come um, and then fulfilling other people's orders through our online orders and that kind of thing and yes. it was it's a blessing right yeah. because we're starting to get that support but we 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 couldn't maximize the potential yeah. because our time was already at a point where it was over-invested. 
Yeah, it was. I mean, and you just yeah. take you just take unfinished projects. We got a lot of unfinished projects. On the, we got this stuff here on the ground, and it's due to the, just time restraints. I mean, not being able to get out here and be able to clean this stuff up. I love garden. Not having the time to get out here and really invest into uh, this project of the vision, and you know, we have a lot of big. Big, we have big dreams and our corporate careers have afforded us the ability to do this. It, it afford us the ability to um, pay off our bills and afford this property. But it's at, it's at a, a one of those, like I said, an impasse. It's at a position where how, how do we proceed? What do we do? How does, how does finances look like? Um, what, how, do, how does, um, making an income and making a life out of this look most people tie success to wealth wealth and, and that's not what we're looking for i'm not looking to become a millionaire I'm looking um for how do i enjoy life my life and be able to provide a my a, provide a sustainable living while enjoying my life um and leaving the blueprint yes yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and you watch some of these great YouTubers on there and they're doing it, but they really don't spell out how they did it. You know, they tell you, hey, I cut the shackles. I moved on. I, I got, um, you know. But where were they at before that? Were they, yeah, you know, they, were, were they were they blessed with something that came their way? Or was it something that they were just consistently financially sound? You know what yeah. I mean? Like where they were where they were saving their money and they, they came to a point where they saved their money or, you know, where they was did something else come about? And where, for yeah. us, it's just, you know, and for us, like you said, for us, it was this was a means to an end. You know, this is what we needed to do to get to point B. And, you know, it worked for us. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, the American dream is starting to fail, but I mean, it worked for us. I mean, we both came from humble beginnings. I, we, you, you, we know, we, we talked about our stories before, but we both came from humble beginnings. Uh, for, we're, we're for, I'm a first time homeowner um, in my family. I'm the very first to own a home in my family. I'm the very first to graduate from college in my family. I'm the very first to do X, Y, Z in my family. And uh, there was no, there was no mentoring or someone explaining to me, hey, Ryan, you know, this is what investment looking like. So when you get to that age, you can make sure that you can retire. Or, hey, Ryan, this is what uh, home ownership looks like. This is what you need to do to to in, uh, make sure that you can purchase a property and be able to live a fruitful life without having to worry about not having money in the bank account or figuring, trying to figure out where how you're going to pay the bills. A lot of people don't have that. And we so we have been, we've been blessed uh, and I don't I don't I don't want to say or look like that we haven't been or we're unhappy when I'm look, trying to look at you know we are we're at a place where we really want to grow this business we want this business to CC we want to be able to pass this on down to our son and future generations but okay you know we got unfinished project projects we got money coming out the bank left and right for those projects. So how do we get it where we finish these projects? How do we get it where we're we're actually making an income from this property? And I think that yeah. it starts with So this, tell me, uh, what's this building, this building. So let's talk about it. What So what's the plan? So the plan is again um, getting this building, finding a contractor to be able to move this building, getting it back to Cuz it to, needs work. It, it needs a lot of work. And I mean, we could, it, it, we could make So if this, someone comes to you and say, hey, Ryan, that's crazy. That's a crazy idea. It's going to be. Oh. And it, it is. We could, we could very well put up a, a pole building that's going to cost us thirty or forty thousand uh, dollars and be insulated and all that stuff. Good stuff. And but it doesn't it doesn't meet the characters of of this building. Um, you can drive farms today and that's what you're going to see. And that's not something I, I want to be. I don't want to be the typical farm. I want to be, I want to preserve, re, be respectful and reserve the history. Someone took the time to build this building with their hands. And it, it has lived for, it has stood for 105 years. It survived the derecho. Yeah, <laughs> it, it survived the derecho. It, it has survived a lot of things. It has, it really yeah. has. So, I mean, 
we got cars that don't last as long as this building been up here and it hasn't been taken care of so i mean i think preserving this building is going to and because this building is a, is a part of the, the community it's part of the heritage heritage of this community getting this building back to what it once was but not only what, what, what it once was something greater than what it once was and making it something for the community is is, is, a, is the next step in our plan and i think at that point if we are able to do this, we should be able to see, see this become a sustainable, sustainable business because this is going to really provide us with a passive income. And like I said, that's, and that's what I'm trying to convince myself of because this is going to be a significant, significant investment on us uh, financially, mentally, and physically. Yeah. Um, so, because there's a lot of work. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of work. And, I, and on one hand, I'm trying to talk myself out of it and take the blue pill and slowly get to that point. But on the other hand, like you said, take the red pill, rip the Band-Aid off and just do it. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think we've we've got we've got some analyzing to do because seeing what uh, what does that look like. And but I think it's. I think it's possible. I, I think it's possible as well, but I just, it's fearful because the simple fact is, like I said, like you said, like I, um, we talked about in, in many times that, you know, it's the unknown. We know what we're doing works right now. We know. You're saying financially. Financially. But, but financially, we know what we're doing yeah. works. I, I guess I would like to ask you guys, what are, what are some of those things that you have, um, that you've been dreaming to do? Um, what does getting out of a rat race look like for you? And what are you doing to uh, get out of a rat race? Drop some comment below. Um, this is this has been a journey for us. Um, it's a scary journey now because the simple fact is, it's coming uh, to fruition and I don't know what the next steps are. And because I'm, you want to build it, but we don't have the time yeah. because we're working full time to build it. But. Not necessarily saying because we're working full time, but yeah. I, I like, I'm a cautious person. I'm a cautious person when it comes, especially to my family. I'm a cautious person, especially when it comes to my money. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. I, I will say though, that's, that's truly where our success has come through come through for us over the years is because he's he's a bit of a penny pincher um and we wouldn't we wouldn't have we wouldn't have had the success that we had it and this is on camera i know and i'll probably regret even saying that but yeah i'll hold it over your head i know you will <laughs> but it's it is true it's oh I, we have been very fortunate because of cheapskate over here but uh but yeah drop some comments let me yeah. uh also drop some word of encouragement because i am this is really scary of uh, what we're thinking and I don't want to get too far into it because I don't want to go um, I want to I don't want to get ahead of myself but yeah um, so yeah so follow your dreams go big or go home <laughs> go big or go home <laughs> and I, right? I don't know I don't know what you like I said I don't know which which way we're gonna go with this uh, but yeah drop some comments below also oh. we got the Mad Acre Barn Farm t-shirts on pre-order um, go ahead and order your shirts and then as well as we have the Mad Acre Farm stickers and Barn Farm stickers uh, available online at our website. Um, I'll, not, drop, I'll drop the link. You can't even drop the link. Oh, YouTube. because we don't. We, we're with, not. What is it? Oh, we have 10,000 subscribers. I think it's 10,000. Oh, we don't have our 4,000. Uh, oh, we don't have that either. This, but we, yeah. we don't care about that. Nope. We, don't, we don't do this for, for that. But um, I mean, uh, they know. They see, they yeah. see our views. <laughs> like man we ain't watching their stuff and they still putting out videos <laughs> oh well so we don't do that well, for yeah. that we do this uh we do this for our family and for our son so and yeah. the farm yeah it's it's yeah, it's it, a history it is yeah. definitely it's, it's a time stamp yeah so we're documented so once yeah. once we do get to that point we can look back and say you know we did this wow we did it yeah so yeah but, but I'll we'll have I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop a link I'm gonna put it I'm gonna I'm gonna slide it across the screen and then I'm gonna drop it in the description and then uh, we'll do yeah. pre-orders and all of the um, all of the purchases um, the dollars from those purchases will go towards um, 
getting our store, that barn, so. restoring this barn and creating our storefront. We love you guys. We appreciate you. As always, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, tell a million friends or two. And also, I keep on forgetting. What? Hit that bell notification so you notify yeah. when we drop a video. Peace. Peace. Hair grease. <laughs>